Welcome back, everyone, to Random Thoughts. It's the end of yet another season, season 34, as you can see, up oh, pointing the wrong way. One of these days, I'll get it right. Pointing the wrong way, but season 34, I managed to get a gold pack this season. And we also have a few thousand coffee to crack. Let's see what we get. Chat. Drum roll, please. While we're getting the, the imaginary drum roll from chat, I do have to let you know ahead of time that I am, of course, part of the content affiliate program. It's the reason that I have so much coffee to open, which we will be doing in this pack breaking video. Getting all the hashtag sponsored stuff about being content affiliate out of the way so that we can just go smooth sailing through the rest of the packs. Here we go, chat. What is our gold pack now? Moment of truth, chat. Moment of truth. All right, so we get a bunch of upgrades. We get a little sucky gaming going. Get a little sucky gaming going. We got some Furkin Leapercon, Sparky, Squiggles, Electric Cat, Droney. All right. All right. Here's what everybody came to see, though. As I inch closer to the camera. What are we getting, chat? This is so hype! This is so hype! This is so hype! <laughs> Chat! This is actually super cool. I literally... For those of you who have not seen the recent streams, I literally opened Graylian this week. I that picked up is one of the savage. random... Savage! Uh, sales that, that we're going on, because at the time of this recording, we just got the carnival of fears release patch 1.5 and chat's going berserk as they should because look at that i pointed the wrong way again because i'm so excited look up there we got some blue lion baby to go with the gray lion this is actually super cool i'm so excited about this this is one of the GG. more unique phobies in the game this is one of the cool no! hospital gaming <laughs> get a little first aid gaming a little boo-boo fix gaming <laughs> but seriously blue Lian is one of the most unique phobies in the game because it creates healing spas this is so awesome that is God, this is actually savage. super sweet the hospital is upon us is there a doctor in the house gaming i mean we do have a doctor in the house but <laughs> not not that kind of doctor not that healing kind of doctor different kind of doctor but anyway you got four range shield. Yeah, like this this is awesome. Only HP buffer in the game. This is I'm excited about this. I'm really excited about this. The doctor's in the house this evening. It's true, Dr. Traffic. <laughs> it's true. Although I don't know if you're the one I want doing like my open heart surgery or something. I may have to call a different doctor for that. Here we go, chat. Here we go. Now it's time to move on from our season pack, which is already starting off the night in awesome fashion. It's already starting off the night in great fashion. Let's take a look at some of the packs. Let's take a look at some of the packs. So we do have over 9K coffee to burn through. We do have over 9K coffee to burn through. We've done the long terrifying pack thing before. I don't, I don't, I don't really want to do that again. <laughs> this time I think you need to get some Clopster. We do need Clopster. We do need Clopster. So chat, here's the question. Should we do mostly horrific packs or mostly dreadfuls? We could do, what, like four Dreadfuls that'll leave us with 1,300? We could do, like, four one one, four Dreadful, because I need the XP. The big thing is I need XP, so I think Dreadful is got to be. Dreadful's all in. All right, chat's saying Dreadfuls. Tra I, I got to listen to chat. We also have 35,000 tiers, just as a no, by the way, 35k tiers. Uh, so let's go with, we'll do Dreadful. Then we'll do the tears packs, and then we'll come back to coffee. But anyway, dreadful pack numero uno. Scary and dreadful all the way. All right. Ooh, that's a lot. Oh, chat! I can upgrade Hevo 3.0. I know it's right behind me. I'm blocking it, but that's an upgrade for Hevo 3.0. You love to see it. You love to see it. 
We also get some upgrade. I know there's a bunch of upgrades here, but I'm mostly focusing on Oopsie Baby here. Get a little heavier Oopsie Baby emphasis. We're getting closer to that upgrade. And I'm not out of that particular set of stress levels, so this really helps because it's going to, you know, it's that extra boost. Your Nightmare Hevo 3.0. It's a very interesting party when Hevo shows up. The party don't start till Hevo walks in. I mean, it's true. It's true. All right, chat. Let's see what's behind these scratch cards, though. Upgrading the diaper for the baby. All right, we get a little drony action. Get a little drony action. Drony is actually pretty hype on the upgrades. I do like drony upgrades. Getting it to tank through things is pretty important. So I'll take it. Plus, as mentioned, at this point, honestly, the experience is what's exciting me the most. <laughs> because I need to upgrade all this stuff. I guess you could say the drinks are on Hevo in this situation. Ah! Ah. Need some Chuck Gaming? That'll be hype. Alright, Hydra. Real talk, once I get paddles, I want to try Walk the Dog with Hydra. Because from what people are saying, it, Hydra is not significantly worse than Cerberus. And that saves you two keys. So getting upgrades on Hydra, I'm, I'm okay with it. Alright, talk about good upgrades. We're talking about some Hevo 2.0 upgrades. That's what I'm talking about. Hevo 2.0 upgrades, huge. We get the Hevo, two-thirds of the Hevo family in a single pack here. It's pretty awesome. Think Hydra's better than Cerberus? It probably is. Probably is. <laughs> yeah, Hevo 2.0 is, is super duper good. I don't think I really need to explain that one to everybody. I think everybody's probably on the same page for that. Alright, we get a little squiggles action, chat. We get a, get a little squiggly in here. We get a little squiggly. I haven't really gotten a lot of use out of squiggles yet, but it's because it's been under level. Now that we're getting these levels, sky's the limit here, chat. We're going to see, well, hopefully we can get a little squiggly action going. Moai's back in the pool or has been coming back. There have been some other heart push maps. Maybe some squiggly stuff. No new phobies? Well, we got the one in, in the uh, season pack, so. Burn all the tiers. Yeah, we're going to do tier packs now. So we're going to switch to tier packs. We're going to go scary packs. We're going to run scary packs as much as we can. I'm going to try and go through a little quicker through the tiers packs. Yep, time for some flesh crawler packs. Here we go. Need the Yeah, I do need the blue speed Ola. Get the other half. All right, scary pack number one. <coughs> Ooh, we're getting a little, uh, little numbskull action. Some klepto upgrades. All right, all right. Like I said, we're going to try and go through these a little quicker. Oh my god, chat. Oh. I swear to god, I thought it was a Chuck for a second. I swear to god, I thought it was Chuck for a second. And I, I was about to have a stroke. Alright, pack number two. <laughs> Scary pack number two, that is. Alright, we get some Slammerhead, the honorary good boy upgrade. A little stabby action, you'll love to see that. Miss Moffat, alright, I'll take it. While Miss Moffat is not really a stat stick, it's still important to get her health up so that she can actually tank in all those scenarios that you need her. Gotta love a little spider action. Hey, look, the spider's been loving me lately because they keep trying to drop on my face. That's happened like three times in the last week. All right, scary pack number three. Ooh, Rambolina, Minotaur. I want to get my Minotaur leveled up. Little moly bully. More droney. It's the night of the droney, chat. It's the night of the droney. But the XP gains are growing. I don't remember what we started at, but we're at 158. Scary pack number four. All right, all right. Some solid upgrades. Some solid upgrades. I'll take it. I take it. Thunder Rocks. You know, I used to be down a lot more on Thunder Rocks, but I'm coming around on it. I'm coming around on it. I think that it is worth it. I, I think there, there are scenarios where it's worth it. I guess the best way to put it. XP is the most valuable resource for me. I would never spend it on a pack. I'm with you, DT. I think that's where it goes. XP is so important as far as ladder goes. Trying to, you know, keep up with the Joneses. I wouldn't burn XP on packs if it was even offered. Unless it was like... You can get the equivalent of a dreadful pack for 10 XP. You know, something like that. All right, let's see. Scary pack number five says... 
All right, we get a Venus upgrade. Got to get that upgraded. I haven't gotten the chance to use Venus all that much. I want to get it further upgraded. Well, what's our scratch, scratch card? Brody upgrades, chat. All right, I'll take these. This is another one where you may ignore the upgrades because, well... It's not doing damage, so who cares? But getting Brony to a point where you could just stage it. Like, you can invade, and then it's like, okay, your opponent can't expend enough energy to kill it because it has so much health. It can tank all those hits, and then it's okay, you're just on your opponent. Yeah, 4k health Brony. That would be, that would be pretty mean. But in all seriousness, a higher health Brony is a big deal. It matters. It matters. A scary pack six i think question mark question mark get a little bachelor action going more spider upgrades more minotaur scratch pack says spaghetti all right we get fouls little brother saw a lot of spaghetti action in one of our earlier viewer games i'll take it i take it i love me some pasta i love me some pasta get a little spaghetti action all right, now I really lost count. This is either seven or eight. I legit lost count. A little tickles action. Bow mangle. The bow mangles upgrade is actually really important for me because I wanted to try more double turrets, but bow mangles is kind of under level for me. We need more hype. <laughs> How about scritch? How about I've actually got use out of scritch in a viewer game. I think I just that one's going up on YouTube soon. I think. I forgot when I scheduled it for. But I think it was in a uh, viewer game. But I'm I'm content with that. And I love the, the level 1 upgrades. And like I said, bow mangles. Big deal. Definitely a big deal. But what else we got? What else we got going on? Got a little Cerberus action. I love Cerberus. It's just... It's tough. A little Boomer. I know people are fans of Boomer. This is the 8th scary pack. Alright, thank you, Honda. Electric Cat. Alright. I take it. I'm always happy with one keys. More one keys quantity wise or one key upgrades because getting them powered up is important. It's a big deal when your opponent can't just immediately remove or trivially remove your one keys. You can take over a game with one keys. We're getting low on these on the tier packs, chat. Pack number nine. All right, Jin Sting. That's a big deal. Jin Sting upgrades. Eternal Knight upgrades, and as mentioned, we get our Minotaur. And the Blue Lion is not going to be late. Can't ignore the Blue Lion. Can't ignore Blue Lion, baby. I honestly didn't realize Blue Lion was ultra rare, even though I got so excited about it before. Bees! 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 GG. Minotaur level 30. I love, like, this is a solid pack. This is a solid pack, chat. Number 10, I believe. Immediately level 6. I think you're right, Anda. Ooh, some dozer upgrades, chat. Out of a scary pack. Dozer upgrades. <coughs> Get a little gargles action. I actually need the gargles upgrades. I straight up need the gargles upgrades because gargles is just not... Not there. Alright, 11th scary pack, I believe. And final scary pack. Alright, I'll take these. A little good boy action. A little snot monster action. Some baked goods action. And we get a little boom. Get a little boom. Snot monster muffin top. True. True. Uh, and then we'll get a frightening pack. We're just trying to do this as quick as we can so we can get back to those exciting coffee packs. What do we get behind Barzilla? What does Barzilla have for us? Alright, okay. I'll take it. And Blinky, another under level phobie for me, so this is pretty hype. I know people are probably looking at this on the pack opening video or in chat right now and be like, well, that's not that exciting. You didn't get any new stuff. But the important thing is, well, the XP and getting stuff up to level because, as we've talked about before, it's important to get phobies up to a certain level so that that way you can actually utilize them at your rank on the ladder. It's a big deal. One thing you don't want is snot on your muffin. It's true. It's true. True facts from Scrungle. All right. Back to Coffee Packs, chat, and YouTube. Which, by the way, if you're watching this on YouTube, check out the links in the description. You can see them and come by the live stream, RTChompGG, or hit up the Random Thoughts Discord. We're, of course, talking phobies. Let me know what you got in your packs, either in comments here on the video or 
Like I said, come by the Discord and let everybody know. There's a whole pack opening channel, and everybody is super hype. And I always want to know what people are opening. So let's see. Let's see. What are we opening from Dreadful Pack number two? Seems okay, chat. Seems okay. Got some more Hevo, got some Dozer, got some Cassowary, who's due for an actual upgrade down there. Bow Mangles, full upgrade now. Almost there on Gravedigger, Wooly Bully. Boomer, I mean, Boomer stole one drop, so I'm okay with it. Here we go. Great, yeah, Gravedigger. I was looking, I saw Gravedigger before, and it's unbearable. Get some unbearable, all right. Eternal Knight. I'm telling you, buff, look, level up your low cost keys. They're important. They're important. <laughs> I'm waiting for the inevitable comment from chat about misanthrope, but I am excited about the misanthrope. I really do want to use misanthrope more. I think it might have value on Kurophobia. Somebody beat me with it the other day. Was it Kuro? It might have been Kuro. Somebody beat me with it the other day on Kurophobia, and I seriously think Misanthrope might have game there. I kind of want to try it. Last one for this dreadful. What do we got, chat? We got a little squiggly action. Chat, there's something about tonight. We're like all in on squiggles and we're all in on dronies. Love to see it. Let's see what's behind dreadful pack number three, chat. What do we got? Oh, more Gin Sting, some more Hevo. Chat, we've gotten a lot of ultra rare upgrades. We got Bluelian, we got Hevo twice, we got Dozer twice. It's a lot of these. A lot of these. Slammerhead. I'll take it. I'll take it. But again, Squiggles. Squiggles is showing up left and right. What do we got here? Henrietta upgrades. I'll take it. I'm happy with it. Everybody's getting invited to that Molotov cocktail party. It's true. 3.0 brought the pina coladas. They're a little spicy. They're a little spicy. <laughs> Get a little erratic action. Call him back to the beginning days of my Phobie's career. Gotta love some erratic. What level is my Hevo? I think it's gonna be 11. Some more Hydra? All right, all right. We got some more strategy starting to coalesce. What do we got on the last one for this dreadful? Ooh, stabby chat. That's almost a full upgrade for Stabby here. Like, that's a lot. We're pretty close, and Stabby, as comes up very often on the channel, very important. Very important. But yeah, Kune is right. I do have more than half of the Phobie, so we're on the other end of the hill as far as, like, getting new stuff. It is unlikely to get a lot of new things at this stage. It's kind of how the pack openings are going to go, just... The way it works out. <laughs> Odds are we're going to get stuff we already have. We're breaking up the, the pack opening and my usual stream to make sure that I get this in because this is important. There are elections coming up at the end of this year, 2022, in the United States. And if you're not registered to vote, go get registered to vote. I've said this a ton of times, but it's getting closer. The elections are getting closer. It's imperative that you register and then actually vote and vote for everything. Make sure that you participate in each election. Research your candidates. Know what they voted for if they were an, or if they are an incumbent. Know what they intend to vote for if they are the challenger. Understand what they where they stand on each of the issues. Because there are tons of them that are super important, including the future of democracy in the United States. Because unfortunately, the Republican Party at this stage, this point in time, is almost, if not completely, comprised of lunatics, fascists, and theocratic dictators that are hell-bent on stripping rights from our fellow Americans and honestly causing the destruction of this country and destruction abroad, most likely. Make sure you vote. Have your voice heard in democracy. It is crucial. And it's going to be crucial not just for this election, these midterm elections, but in future elections. And you should be participating anyway, but especially now. Make sure you vote. Secondly, if you have the opportunity, 
Look into helping out charities. Look into helping out your fellow humans. It could be at the local level, whether it's a food bank, it's a local charity for other causes, whatever. It could be at the national level. It could be at the international level. There are man-made disasters. There are natural disasters. And both of them have a dramatic impact on other humans. And the fact of the matter is, is that there's tons of people that are in a position that could help. And if this is that minor push that just gets you to say, hey, I'm going to donate some money. I'm going to donate some clothes. I'm going to donate other goods. I'm going to donate time. Any of those things, other things, whatever you can do to help out other people, that's what it's all about. I'm not going to try and sell you on. You'll feel better about yourself and it's doing these things. It's the right thing to do is the bottom line. And similar to the first topic about voting, both of these are imperative to the future of humanity. So please think about these, make sure that you're acting on them and do what you can to help others. What's behind the horrific pack? That's true, Forgo, that's true. I will care on gaming, get some fetch upgrades, primate. Primate is another numbers-based phobia or heavily, heavily leans into the numbers. Baby Snakey, I'll take it, I'll take it. Chat, you were asking for new phobies. You were asking for new phobies. You were asking for new phobies, and here they are. We get a little Gonzo Bonzo action, a little clang clang. It's the monkey. This is actually pretty cool because everybody has been giving me a hard time about not using Scritch. Evo 3.0 Gonzo, oh my god, it's happening. Yeah, exactly. People were giving me a hard time about not using that is Gonzo's OP. Gonzo, I've been beaten by Gonzo a lot. So I have to figure out how to use this because I like Gonzo a lot more than I like Scritch. It's pretty good. Can I give you one of the buff phobies? If only there was phobie trading. <laughs> but I'm I'm super hype about this. This is awesome. Gonzo is definitely this thing's gonna show up. I just got to figure out where and when. Because you have to, every time you get a new phobie like this, and Gonzo is arguably one that I think could be useful even at level 1, because the 300 damage buff is significant, and it does fairly decent damage. Like, I don't feel bad numbers-wise about this thing on level 1. Of course, we're going to try and level it up. But we can drop this thing out here, but you need to kind of tailor your game plan. So I'm going to have to, you know... Get, get the gears turning. Get the gears turning, you know, in the, the north of the shoulder region to see what we're going to do. All right, let's see, chat. Let's see. A little Dr. Dermic upgrade. All right. All right. We're getting ready. Going to be healing for like a billion. Last scratch card of the horrific pack, chat. What do we got? What do we got? Ooh, we're getting a little cowbell action. I love cowbell. Cowbell is actually hilarious to me. This was a really strong pack, chat. This was really strong. Honestly, amazing, horrific pack. I agree. This was super duper good. Super solid. Just missing Metabot and Leshy to be a hospital. It's true. We got we got the whole staff. What does the terrifying pack hold? What do we got? What do we got? <laughs> Bad sushi! Bad sushi upgrades. Alright, chap. Scratch cards. Two ultra rares? Not quite. Not quite. But we do get an upgrade for our friend here. We do get an upgrade, which is pretty cool. The jackalope army is a thing. The jackalope army is a thing. Remaining scratch card. More Hevo. You can't turn away the Hevo chat. You just can't turn away Hevo upgrades. This is super good. This is We might have gotten two levels out of the upgrades tonight for this. We might have gotten two levels. This is a big deal. This looks like it's going to be our last dreadful pack. What is behind this dreadful pack? Lulian, Cerberus, Klepto... See, the blue lean is getting pretty big. It might be like level six or seven by the end. Well, we said it was six. Could be like seven or eight by now. 
Minotaur. All right, this Minotaur might be ready for the big leagues now. I think we might actually be ready to try and set up something with Minotaur. Nice. Get a little numbskull action going. Get a little numbskull. This guy's going to be pretty big. <gasps> New phobies, chat. Hey, we were talking about the doctor earlier. It's in fact time for the phobies version of doctor. It's Dr. Dermic. We've got multiple healers tonight, chat. Multiple healers. We got Blue Lian and we got Dr. Dermic. This, I didn't realize how big the heal was on level one, chat. This is an enormous heal. Absolutely enormous. This is pretty cool. I mean, does anybody really like needles? It's funny, some of the phobies, you can be like, well, what, what is that supposed to be the fear of? I think needles are pretty obvious, right? <laughs> I think it's pretty obvious. But Dr. Dermic, pretty hype. New phobies in the chat. That's what I'm talking about. That much closer to a full collection. That much closer. Last scratch card. And it puts us over on the stabby upgrades. Everybody collectively grown together. Because there's just going to be more stabby. There's more stabby coming at you. More stabby coming at you. It's that good, chat. I mean, you can't get away from it. I think my stabby's gonna be like level 13. It's gonna be doing over 500 damage now. Dozewall knows my stabby better than I do. Nice. Nice. Those are pretty good, chat. This was pretty successful. Almost half a million XP, chat. Almost half a million XP. This was wildly successful i know i see chat saying it and i'm sure people say this on the youtube comments but it's not always about net new phobies now that's easy for me to say because i have 97 out of the 141 but at this stage because of the the collection break point that i've hit the milestone that i've hit i need the xp the xp is the bigger thing and getting the upgrade cards is right up there with it to make sure that i'm upgrading things to keep competing on the ladder this is super hype but yeah the new phobia editions the blue Lian, the gonzo the dr dermic all three of those are super exciting and i'm real excited to do this i'm real excited to get them out there because this is hype so this has been a pretty successful especially by my standards this has been a super successful pack opening for this particular season but like I said earlier, let me know down in the comments what you opened. What were you hoping for and did it actually work out? Or you still got to try again maybe next season. And of course, check out the links in the description. You can come by the live stream, RTChompGG over on Twitch, or hit up the Randoms Thoughts Discord. As always, the likes and subscribes help. Because trying to hit that thousand subscribers definitely need you out there, dear viewer, to help me out. But that's going to do it for this time. So as always, everybody, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching and Black Lives Matter.